Hello. I've been asked to do some more Pilates in the garden. And seeing as it's due to rain for the rest of the week, I thought I should get out here now and do a little bit. And we're going to do some flowing using the Pilates principle flowing. So what better way to do it than in front of the flowing water? Hopefully it's not so loud that you can't hear what I'm saying. So we're going to give it a go. So get your setup position ready first. So feet hip width apart, knees nice and soft. Find that neutral spine. Find the tension around your core. So either use your pelvic floor or your waist muscles. And then let's focus on the breath. Big deep breaths into the ribs. And then stretch that head up tall. Long string, pulling your head up tall. And take some big deep breaths. Very good. Okay, we're going to come to the end of the mat. So keep that tension. Coming to the end of your mat. We're going to roll down. So big deep breath in. Exhale as you roll down. Let the arms hang down. Let the leg, legs be soft. Inhale. Exhale as you come back up. Stacking up through the spine. Big deep breath. Just flowing through that back. Gently lowering down. Let's do one more. Then we're going to go down into a push-up. So roll down. We're going to walk forward. Mud off the mat. Walk forward. Take the arms forward. Knees at a slight angle. Push the elbows back. Take it back up. Let's do two more. One more. Tuck the toes under. Come back up. Slowly, slowly. Restacking through the spine. Let's do two more of those. Big breath in. Exhale as you roll down. Coming forward. Pop the knees down, bring the hips forward, three times, tuck the toes under, let's go up for the last time, slowly rolling up, and let's take it back down last time, go down as far as you can go. Walking forward, knees down, three soft push-ups. And then push back into your child's pose stretch and really stretch it out. So from our child's pose stretch, let's come forward, lying onto the mat. So bring the elbows out to the side. You've got like a letter E with your arms. We're going to do our swan dive. So legs soft and relaxed. Inhale. Exhale as you lift the head and chest. And take it back down. So we're trying to mobilise the thoracic spine. So just coming up as far as you can. If you can, we're going to lift the arm, lift the elbows and stretch through to the arms. But just lift into your back and come up as far as you can go. Exhale up. Inhale down. One more. Really stretch it up. And take it back down. Arms down by your side. Let's do the dart. It's going to keep those legs really soft. Arms nice and long. Inhale to prepare. And as you come up, you're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together. So imagine as you're coming up, you're short, pulling your shoulder blades down and together. So you're working those really important upper back muscles. Exhale up. Inhale down. Now what we don't want to see is both ends coming up. 
because that means your glutes are going to take over. So just working the upper back, gently lift it up. Last one. And rest it down. Very good. Bring the arms forward. We're going to lift the legs. So you can do one at a time or both together. We're just lifting the thighs. So inhale to prepare. Exhale as you float the legs off the floor. Inhale as they come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Beautiful. So just the thighs coming off the floor. Any discomfort in your back? Just one leg at a time, please. Exhale up. Inhale down. Two more. And rest it down. Come up onto your elbows. We're going to do one leg kick. So we're going to tilt the pelvis forward. So you're pushing your pubic bone into the mat. Lifting the lower belly, hold it here, and then we'll point and flex and point. And it's a. So you're trying to feel the stretch down the front of your thighs. And you'll only get that stretch if the pelvis is tilted forward. Point, flex, and point. Point, flex, and point. Can you hear the birds? A bit of even, even song going on for you. Point, flex, and point. One more. And then we're going to rest down. We're going to stretch the arms out long. And we're going to do swimming. Now before you start, pull the shoulders back down your back. Neck nice and long. So your face is going to be long. Looking down, your neck is long. Now we're going to try and lift the opposite arm and leg. So inhale to prepare, exhale as you lift and stretch. Now if you find that a little bit uncomfortable, you can always do arm, arm, leg and leg. Okay, so if you can, both arm and leg lifting together. Opposite sides, you try and do the same side, you'll just roll. And we're trying to keep the back as still as we can. So lifting the opposite arm and leg. Just stretching the waist. It's not about height. It's about how long can you stretch. Reaching away. And we're just working those back extensor muscles all the way down either side of the spine. And really stretch it out. And rest it down. Let's come up on hands and knees. So we're going to do our cat stretch. So inhale, as you exhale, you're going to tuck your tailbone under, push that lower back up, push the spine up, let the head drop down, and then gently take it the other way. Gorgeous. Stretch it up, and take it down. And stretch up, and down. One last time, really push it up. And gently take it down. Very good. Okay, we're going to do some side bends now. So we're going to come round onto the side. And we've got lots of options. We hook the feet together. So the underneath foot is on sideways. But this front top leg, the foot needs to be flat. Because you're going to push through that foot as you come up. So easiest option, all you're going to do is keep the hand here. And push up from here. So you're just trying to lift the bottom off the floor come up to the side. If you can do that, then you're going to take the hand onto the knee and then we're going to lift up on the side. It's a beautiful, graceful move, stretching up and over. And if that feels okay and you want to have a go, you're going to stretch your feet out, still keep this foot flat and then we're going to lift the hips up and take it down. Let's go again. Lifting up to the side. Stretch it up. Last one. 
and take it down very good let's come around to the center just roll those shoulders release any tension and then let's come around the other side so on the other leg remember we're hooking the feet together elbow underneath your shoulder easiest option just going to push up here and take it back down exhale up inhale down want to work a little bit harder hand on the knee lifting up and over and harder still straight legs and lift up to the side use that breath use those core muscles so of course you're still holding that tension aren't you round your core just keeping that soft tension so trying to work those deep stabilizing muscles and last one beautiful and take it down let's swing round roll the shoulders round and then we're ready to come back on the other side again so from here let's come round on the side i'm going to do some side kicks so line up with the back of the mat make sure you've got a lovely long straight line core muscles engaged you've got a little space under here so the ants in the garden can just walk underneath and then you're going to pick your feet up and bring them forward ready for our side kick so that tension in your core top leg lifted inhale to prepare and exhale as you sweep forward big double kick inhale as you go back now we're trying to work to your full range of movement to mobilize the hip and stretch the back of that leg so if you're just working here that's not going to work so imagine i'm in class with you and i'm going to walk along and i'm going to grab your leg and i'm going to shove it forward okay so that's what you're going to try and do kick that leg forward sweep it back one last one and bring it back bring the legs in a little bit and bring the feet together toe and heel to a slight angle going to fling that leg up and then we're going to squeeze it back point the toe up flex the foot hard as you come down point up flex down point up flex down point and flex point and flex let's do two more well done bring the legs back into a straight line so now we're going to lift this top leg up so you've still got that gap under the waist the ants are still crawling underneath and believe me here they actually are so we're going to lift that top leg up flex that foot and lengthen that leg you see it should be able to push about an inch away so push that leg away if you can you're going to have your arm in the air if that just feels too wobbly then just keep it in front that's fine now staying here we're activating all those muscles down the side of the body so you're working really hard just in that position so if that's enough you're going to stay there if you can let's inhale and as you exhale we're going to lift that underneath leg and take it down exhale up inhale down so you're working right down the side of the body so if you want to make it easier then just keep that underneath leg still if you want to make it harder don't touch the floor in between so exhale up inhale down working right through the side of your body great job nice smooth flowing movements this is no jerking it's really smooth last one and rest it down and bring the arm down let's do the clam so we're going to bring the knees forward so you've got that right angle behind your knees core muscles still pulled in we're going to keep the inside of the feet together now the aim is to push this knee up as far as you can but without the hips moving now i'm not there to watch you today so you might just want to pop the hand behind your butt and just make sure that it's only the leg that's moving 
Exhale as you push up. Inhale as you come down. Push up and down. And push. So you're really working these deep glutes. Working that piriformis muscle. Two more. And rest it down. Let's take the feet to the back of the mat. And we'll do the little hip opener just to release any tension. So we open the knee. Squeeze it into the side. Take it down and close. One last one. And rest it down. Well done. Time for some chalk circles. Now I'm going to wiggle down whilst I'm going to smash the arch. So make sure you've got space around you. So wherever you're working, make sure you're not going to hit the furniture. So knees stay forward. Hips don't move. Arm in front. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you stretch round, opening that shoulder and then coming back. So you'll get a better stretch if you keep the knees still. And if you just let them lift, you can go all the way, but you really won't feel the stretch. So keep those knees glued down and stretch it around. Open that shoulder. Lovely stretch. Let's do one last one. And rest it down. Let's come up to the side. So we're going to come up and stretch up and across. Very good. Let's bring the legs out in front. So arms behind you. Core muscles pulled in. We're going to lift one leg. So I'm going to come slightly on an angle. So you're not just looking at my toes. We're going to lift one leg up and we're going to work into the hip. So we're going to take it round and up. And down and up. And round and up. So mobilizing into the hip joint. And as you might start to feel, we're giving those quads a nice little workout too. So just gently take it round. And remember, whenever it feels too much, you just stop and have a rest. And the beauty of these being recorded is that you can pause me and you can stop me. And no, you're not having a remote control to do the same when we get back in class. Goodness knows when that will be though. So we'll just make do with what we've got for now. Does my chatter stop that leg hurting? No? Okay, take it down, give it a wiggle. Let's go with the other leg. Down and up. Down and up. So really rotating into that hip joint. Take it round lovely big circles try and keep the core muscles pulled in so we're not slumping back we're still keeping that core nice and strong and when you've had enough you can stop still a couple more if you can ah rest it down let's give it a wiggle good job okay let's um, come up and we'll do spine stretch forward so your bottom is glued down to your mat. Arms in front. Inhale to prepare. And exhale as you reach forward. Stretching, stretching, stretching. Trying to reach as close to your toes as you can. And slowly, slowly coming all the way up. Now for those of you that have got really tight hamstrings, remember you can always sit on a cushion to do this one. Stretching forward. Coming back. You want to make it an even bigger stretch. Flex the feet, bring the toes in. So remember, we're always stretching to the point of tension, not agony. We do one last one, so if you can go a little bit further. Stretching forward. Now we're going to hold on wherever you can reach. We're going to hold on and just enjoy that stretch. You might be up here, that's fine. Wherever you can reach, stretch it. And gently release. Very good. Okay, let's do the saw. So feet out to the sides. Make sure the shoulders are down. Arms are right back here. So inhale as you come round. 
and exhale as you push forward and we're trying to reach to the outside of your toe so we're aiming for little finger heading towards little toe now I know a lot of you say never ever so just imagine you've got a saw in your hand and that saw is going to reach forward so wherever you can go you're going to go forward the important thing is that when you come forward you're not lifting up here because you're going to lose that stretch so keep that bottom firmly glued to the mat and then you'll get that stretch through the back reaching from your fingertips right through your body and then down the legs to your feet and last one beautiful okay let's swing the legs around to the other side so we're going to repeat that sequence on the other side so again find that long straight line find that gap under your waist so i can let my ants come crawling through at least they're black ones not red ones so bring the feet slightly forward top leg up to hip height inhale to prepare exhale as you kick inhale as you come back and just be careful you make sure what's behind you see if i know the arch is behind me i've just felt it so i'm going to get a little bit steady as i go back so to make sure you're not kicking the coffee table or the sofa or the bed so on any injuries thank you very much try and come a little bit further forward bring those toes right in stretch the back of the leg two more and bring it back together very good well done let's come up to the side now so toe and knee to a slight angle bring the toe up leg coming down can you hear we've got a plane coming over that's a real novelty at the minute and they don't normally go right over my horse it'll pass in a minute points up flex down get all the sounds as they happen here points up flex down just hope the neighbor doesn't start cutting the grass points up flex down oh there's a red kite flying around in the sky you can see that there points up flex down last one and bring it down bring the legs back into a straight line so lengthening through your body just as we did when we were standing up we're lengthening right through the body and then we're going to lift this leg up so core muscles pulled in gap onto your waist flex that foot and really think about trying to stretch that leg away from you imagine i've got hold of your leg and i'm yanking it away from you if you can the arm comes up here that's not comfy just keep it in front of you we're going to hold here so though it's a static hold it's working really hard so hold it here and then if you can we're going to lift that underneath leg up and take it down and time it to your breath so it's a so your length of your breath will determine the length of your movement exhale up inhale down and we all breathe at different paces so your movement might be different to mine and that's fine exhale up inhale down push it up and down last one and take it down well done knees round in front let's do the clam so remember these hips need to stay perfectly still so if it helps just pop your hand behind your hips and make sure you're not moving inside of the feet together right angle behind the knees gonna push up and come back down pushing up and take it down push up and down
little bit bigger if you can. And last one. And rest it down. Feet to the back of the mat and let's just do the little hip release. So we're going to open the knee, squeeze it in, tuck it down and slide it back. Last one. I feel better. Very good. Well done. So knees round in front. Make sure you've got some space. And we're going to do the chalk circle on this side. So knees glued to the floor. Hips don't move. Core muscles pulled in. Put my t-shirt down before we start. Inhale and exhale as you lift up and stretch it round. Opening the shoulder. Stretch it round. So it doesn't matter if you can't touch the floor all the way around. The important thing is to keep those knees forward. So if you need to lift it here, that's fine. Lift into your shoulder. If you've had any shoulder injuries, you're going to be really careful. And just carefully take it round. Let's do one last one. And then we'll come up to the side. Carefully coming up. And stretch over. Very good. Are you ready to come onto your back now? So have your arms by your sides. If you need to, you can use them to roll back. If you don't need them, arms here. Slowly, slowly. And let's take it back down onto the mat. Now before we start, make sure you've got that set up position again. So think about your neutral spine. Those soft core muscles are still engaged. And we're breathing into the ribs. And we're going to do the 100. Now remember, we've got lots of options for the 100. You can just have one leg in tabletop position. Or you can have both legs in tabletop position. Or you can have your legs straight. And your head can be down. And your head can be up. So we're going to start the breathing. So you choose your position. I'll start you off on the breathing. We're going to breathe. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Seven more breaths. Doing well, keep going. And when you're done, just hug your knees into your chest and just release the neck. Very good. Okay, we're going to go into one leg stretch. It's going to bring one knee into the chest and stretch the other leg away. So you're going to pull it in here and then we're going to switch and change. So you can have your head down on the mat or you can curl up and just stretch it away. Stretching to the toes. Lovely continuous flowing movement. And rest it down. And again, gently release the neck. Are you ready for double leg stretch? To so check your setup position again. You can do it with your legs in tabletop position. And just hold it there. And then all we're going to do is stretch the feet away and come back. Now if that's too much for your back, remember you can do one leg. And then you can do the other leg. You can even have one leg on the floor if you need to. And then I would do one side for a few, maybe five, and then the other side. Or if you're going to come into the full exercise, we're going to curl into our little ball. And from here, we're going to stretch the arms and legs away. And we're going to sweep and bring it back in. Looking at your toes, sweep and bring it back in. Stretch. Come back in. 
Again, you're going to breathe. Can we do four more? And four. And three. And two. And one. And rest it down. And let's have a lovely full body stretch. Stretching through the body. And come back. Well done. So we're going to bring the knees into your chair. And we're going to curl up to sitting. And if you can't quite curl up, you're going to get up however you can. Okay, so we're going to do some rolling work now. So just be careful, make sure we've got lots of space. So we're going to start with our rolling back or rolling like a ball. Now if you don't fancy that, remember your alternative is just to do a nice soft half roll back. And then come up and stretch tall. So take it back and come up. If you're going to do rolling like a ball. We're going to tuck in tight. We're going to tuck the head down. And we're going to roll. And we're going to try and stop before your toes touch the floor. It's a bit tricky here because I'm actually on a slope. Okay, so now we're going to have a go at open leg rocker. Now, those of you that don't like to roll, all I want you to do is to sit up here and then what you're going to do is to stretch one leg out and take it down. Stretch the other leg out and take it down. So you're just balancing, so you're tilted slightly back, so your core is active and you're just lifting one leg at a time. Those of you that want to roll, you're going to tuck the hands behind your knees to begin with. Legs are a little bit more open. And then we're going to roll back. And when you come up, we're going to straighten through the spine. So rather than being curled, we're now going to straighten. So we're going to roll back and straighten up. Now, if you can, I have to pull my trousers up for this one. We're going to hold on to the ankles. And we're going to do it with straight legs. So you're just coming up, trying to find that balance point at the top. So lots of options. So you can just sit still and straighten the legs. Or you can do it with bent knees. Or you can do it with straight legs. Very good. Well done. Okay, let's have a go at the crab. So for this one, you need lots of space. So we're going to take the arms and we're going to hold down the side of your feet. So we're going to start in a little ball and we're just going to roll back and come back up. Now those of you that like to do the foot flip, we're going to go back, stretch the legs and then tuck back in. Stretch the legs and tuck back in. I have to tell you, it's much more comfortable doing this on the grass than it is on my kitchen floor. Apart from the ants. Last one. Very good. Well done. Nice rolling. Okay, let's go back. A little bit more for the core. So from here, we're going to roll back onto your mat. You're going to take the arms in the air. Going to bring your legs into tabletop position and we're going to do our coordination so inhale from here exhale as you stretch away inhale as you come back now you only move one arm and one leg at a time if that's not comfortable on your back do remember that you can keep the foot on the floor and stretch from here okay so you've got lots of options stretching away Very good. Last one. And then bring the feet down on the floor and bring your arms down. We're nearly done. 
Let's go into a bridge. We're just going to loosen up that lower back. So make sure your feet are hip width apart. Try and lift the arches of the feet so they're firmly on the floor, but they're active. Big deep breath in. Exhale as you flatten your back to the floor. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up. Inhale at the top and exhale as you roll down. Trying to feel every vertebrae in your back touching the floor. One bone at a time. Big deep breath. Gently rolling up and down. Let's do two more. Really squeeze the glutes as you go up. One last one. And rest it down. Bring the knees into your chest. Just roll them round. Gently roll it round. And then stretch away, stretching through the body. Lovely job. And then bring the arms down by your side. And we'll finish with a few minutes of relaxation. So make yourself comfortable. And we're going to start with some big deep breaths. To so fill the lungs full of oxygen. Exhale deeply, getting rid of any stale air. Big deep breaths. Let your feet relax. Release any tension around the toes and around the ankles. Let your shins and calves be soft. Let your knees relax. Let your thighs be soft and let your hips be soft and open. Let those deep abdominal muscles relax. Fill them with oxygen. Just help them relax and recover. Let your neck and shoulders be soft. Your hands and arms relax. And let your face be soft. And just focus on your breath. Big deep breaths. Just let everything be soft and relaxed. Actually, let the awareness come back to your feet. Let the awareness come back to your legs. Into your torso. Your face. And gradually bring yourself back to full awareness. Come over to one side. And we're done. Thank you for joining me this evening in the garden. Hope the water wasn't too noisy. And I'll see you again soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye.